you have an incredible amount of archival footage to choose from. Uh, there's so much of it within this film, but I'd imagine there's so much of it that you didn't use as well. Is that a blessing or somewhat of a curse when you have that much footage to choose from? Uh, it's hard because, I mean, there are things that we wanted to get in that we didn't get in. Like, for example, we didn't put him winning the Oscar. At a certain point, we had like him nominated a bunch of times and then him winning. But the best part of him winning the Oscar is after you win the Oscar, you go backstage and they interview you and he was treating it as if it was a, um, what is it called? When you're uh, at an auction. So he's like, oh, number 36, number 37. It was, it was classic, but we couldn't you know, figure out how to fit it in. We just had hundreds of hours of footage and you know, you just have to kill your babies. You actually, <laughs> when it comes to winning awards, you go with an awards ceremony where he didn't win and there was like, it was him and two other nominees and there was a tie between the other two nominees and he was the one who didn't win. Mark Romanek told me about that. Uh, it was the Critics' Choice Awards and I didn't know about it when I saw it. I was like, oh my God, we have to use like as much of this as possible because it represented who he was and who he was in the Hollywood community. Um, and in some ways, it was to us a more interesting choice than just kind of like the spot on Oscars, which are kind of like, I you know, know, he won, exactly. you know, like, let's look at, exactly. yeah. yeah. Although I've been called on it. Like, why didn't you put him, you know, it's like, why did you not, everybody, when you make a movie about a national treasure, like people want specific things in there. Like, I love the movie, but why didn't you put this scene in? And it's kind of like, you can't please everyone. So you just kind of do what you and your editors think is best for the story. 